everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope everyone is doing okay. So, in today's video, I'm going to be taking you through a little DIY project that I've been working on and off on since last summer. So, this all started when my parents decided to redo the fencing in our garden because it was a little bit old and tired, and they got this beautiful new wooden fencing in. And when the builders were doing it, they were getting rid of so many offcuts of the new wood and putting it to the side, and also all of our old fencing just got piled up in my garden and I thought to myself are they really going to throw this out like I would love to maybe repurpose that wood and make something out of it and just do something creative as a little project in lockdown so I spoke to my boyfriend to see if he was up for it a few years ago I lived in a flat and my best friend got me a wooden photo frame and the housewarming gift and I thought to myself the wood that I've got looks exactly like this so I'm going to use this as inspiration so I drew out my designs on paper of how I would want the photo frames to look so I think I came up with seven or eight horizontal bars equally spaced apart and then two vertical support brackets on the back and then on the front the design would be some bulldog clips that I screw into the front and also some crystal doorknobs along the bottom so this could be a piece that people hang in their house maybe in an entrance hallway so that they can put keys and scarves and some pictures on it and it's a little nice decorative piece. I do have a little bit of footage around my boyfriend sawing some of the wood and also my dad helped me sand it down as well. I do have some paint left over from when I redid my room about a year ago. It's dark grey paint with glitter in. I've also got two tubs of fencing paint that haven't been opened yet so what I'm going to do is try out all the colours on some scrap pieces of wood and see what I like the best. Then we can get started on the painting but I'm just going to show you some of the other equipment. So first we have the box of wood that I sawed last year so these are the support brackets to go on the back so I've got six of those for three frames. Then these are my main pieces here to go horizontally across on the photo frame so I think I did eight of those per frame and I've sawed and sanded these as best as I could. And then in this box here I have the leftover paint from my bedroom, a couple of tubs of unopened ones for garden furniture. So the colours here are blue cashmere and I think toy soldier. I don't know what these look like. So I'm going to test these out just on some scrap pieces of wood that I brought up. And then I've also got here just some small paint rollers and brushes and a paint tray. And then over here I've got wood glue. This was just £3 in Wilco and a spatula to help spread the glue out. In this bag here, I ordered this off Amazon. These are the bulldog clips to go onto the photo frame. So there's going to be nine of these per frame. So I'm going to do three rows of three. And as you can see, they've got a hole in. So I have got some very small screws to go in there to clip those onto the frame. And then these are the crystal doorknobs that are going to go on the photo frame. So I'm going to do three of those at the bottom. I'll leave links to these things that I got below just in case anyone is interested. So I've just put on some scrap clothes, an old sheet on the bed and some bin liners. I was going to do this outside but it's just too cold. Hopefully it's not going to be too messy and I don't end up getting paint on the carpet but I'm just going to paint these little scrap pieces here with my three different colours and see what they come out like. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one photo frame with the glitter paint, so that's this bottom one here, and then I think I'm going to do two with this top one here, which is blue cashmere. So this is my first frame I'm going to be doing in the glitter paint, so I've got my eight pieces of wood here to go horizontally, and then they're the two support pieces on the back. I'm going to use a roller so then I don't get any bristle marks from the brushes, and then if there's any areas that need touching up, then I have just got a really fine brush there to go over that but they'll obviously they'll have to dry on like the tops and whatever I can get done on the side and then I'll have to flip them over and do the back once they're all dry. photo frame so this is the one with the glitter and what I've done is I've just laid out the pieces on the bed so the ones that I want to be at the back are all this way now and then I've got these back pieces here so I'm going to perfect the spacing and then I'm going to put a dot of glue on each of these bars here on both sides and then secure the back support onto the back here. So I've just moved all the wooden bars onto the floor now onto this plastic mat and spaced them all 
two centimeters apart or as best as I can so with these support ones now I'm just going to put the glue onto the bars and then press these on and then I'll probably let that set for a good few hours. So it's the next evening now, I've had these drying for 24 hours, I weighed them all down with the perfumes. So these are the two that I did with the garden fencing paint and then this one over here is the paint that's in my bedroom so you can see that one is a little lighter compared to this one on the left here. So if you look at the sample as well that I played with yesterday you can see the glue dries quite a natural brown colour and I think you can scrape off any excess so I'm going to look at the frames now and anywhere where it's spilled over the sides I'm just going to scrape it off and see if it needs any paint touch ups. So I flipped the frames round now, I'm so happy with how they turned out. Rather stupidly I did put this one um, on this little mat here that's got loads of dried up paint on it and a couple of bits of it have stuck onto it so I am going to scrape those off and then do any paint touch ups anywhere that's needed and as I said with the glue as well I'm going to make sure that any visible glue is scratched off as best as I can and then I'll do the paint touch ups but one thing I'm so impressed with is the glue. You literally can't rip this off. I tried to do it with the sample piece and got my dad to do the same and it does not come off at all. So I'm gonna plan out now where I'm gonna put the clips and the glass door handle. So I'm gonna put three of these along the very bottom and then starting at the top, I'm gonna miss a row each time and do three of these per line. marked crosses now on the frames and I've just put these over where they were just so I can see if I'm happy. I'm going to mark the rest of them up and then I'm going to get some help from my dad to drill the holes. Here we have almost the final product. I'm so happy with how they've turned out so far. So we've screwed on all the bulldog clips and all of the doorknobs now. So what I'm gonna do next is do some paint touch-ups um, wherever they need them. And then we still need to do the fixtures on the back uh, so that someone can hang it up. I'm thinking curtain hooks and wire. So I did get a um, picture hanging kit for that. To finish the photo frames off, I decided to get a stamp made with our logo on. So we decided to call this AR Designs just after our initials. So this is the stamp that I got made. It's from a website called Get Stamped. I have already tried it out, but it says AR Designs on it, established 2020, just because that is when I started cutting the wood. And then I got this two pounds ink pad from Amazon. So I'm going to show you how it turns out on a scrap piece of wood. I'm so happy with how the stamp turned out. I thought it wouldn't show up very good on the wood and it might just be suitable for paper and stuff, but this has come out really nice. It's gonna leave a really nice touch on the back of the frames and anything else which I'm hoping to make with the leftover wood or even more wood that I can just get in the future to make some things, it'll come in use. I am literally buzzing with the stamp and the logo. This is my favourite part of the entire project. I think this was quite expensive. It was £18 and then £4 shipping and I think the prices vary basically depending on what size you get. So you choose in millimetres. I think the price just goes up by one or two pounds as you increase the width of the stamp that you want making. So I've just tried out here. I did smudge this one just because I wanted to see how quickly it dried. So on this one, I pressed it into the ink pad and I pressed it down quite hard. And then this one at the end here, I just waited a while. I didn't put the stamp back in the ink pad. I wouldn't say I pushed down too hard on it. I think I like the paler one. So... I'm just going to keep practicing and decide how intense I want the stamp to show up but at the minute I'm leaning towards the lighter one just because I think it's a little easier to read straight off. This is the last thing that I got. I think this is just from like the pound shop or something. I don't think it's got curtain hooks in so it's got the wire in there and then I think we'll just use these gold pieces here if I can't find any curtain hooks in my shed anywhere. So we're going to put the backs on now. So in my little kit I've just dug out the little different sizes that you get here so I'm not sure which we're going to go for we could probably just use this one so if I put this on say like the second row here so this is from the top now two on each side and then you thread the wire through so this is going to loop through 
probably across this second bar here so then the wire doesn't show once it's hung so we're going to get those hammered in now. So you might have seen I did actually change my mind on the gold hooks that we used. So we went for these ones just because where it sticks out here is a lot flatter than the other ones and then the picture will sit a bit more flush to the wall. So we decided to just go for the single one. So we're going to wire them here now and then we'll nail this part down. I'm trying to do the wire now and on two occasions the wire has just snapped which isn't great I was trying to do a test and just hang it off my finger and see how strong it is and it's snapped on both occasions so I'm not going to be using that I need to come up with a plan b and sadly in the process I smudged the stamp so I'm gonna have to rub that off and repaint it it's not the end of the world but yeah I'm not impressed with the wire that came in the kit obviously these are quite heavy frames because the wood is fencing wood but I'm gonna have to come up with a different plan. I honestly think string would be better at this point. So I've gone back to basics and I've just got some regular string here. So I'm gonna cut these, I'm gonna thread them around and do a little bit of a test and see if it holds up. So as I said, the wood is really heavy because it is fencing wood. I'll probably just leave up on the screen how much each one weighs because I am gonna have to start thinking about that when I set up the Etsy shop and I post them out to people and to get a rough idea of how much it's gonna cost in postage. So So I've tied the string on one of them now. I've just pushed these gold things inwards just because sometimes when this is hanging they will naturally lean inwards and then your string would need to be a little bit tighter. So I tried to do it as tight as I could but I think even if it's a little loose like this and it's on a screw it should still be fine. So I do actually have a screw in the wall above my desk where I've got a little picture so I'm going to take that off now and just sort of style up the item as if maybe somebody would have it in their home. So I'll put that on a little time lapse and then I'm going to take some pictures as well because I'll need that for my Etsy shop as well. This is the final results. I just put on some various Instax pictures here, some photo booth pictures from when I went to New York a few years ago, and then I just put my keys, my dad's keys here, and then a necklace and just some little bobbles and things as an example. I'm quite happy with these. I'm going to take some shots of it now because I'll need it for Etsy and for Instagram and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and take these now and then I'm going to do the string on the other two as well and get them all finished off. Just before we get to the outro, I do want to say I have decided to do a giveaway on one of these frames. So if you love them as much as me and you would like to be in with the chance of winning one, then please head over to my Instagram. It's alicia.nsp. There's two posts on there right now, there'll be three by the time this video goes up. The rules of the giveaway are all under each of the posts, so it's to follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my YouTube channel, tag a friend in any of the posts and add any of the posts to your story and tag me so I get a notification. The giveaway is open until the 24th of February at 11pm and then on the 25th I'll use a random generator to pick a winner, make sure you followed all of the rules and then I will DM you to organise the postage. Good luck! And that is it for my little DIY project in lockdown. I hope you enjoyed watching and let me know if you've done any creative projects of your own over this lockdown period and if you would like to see me make some more items, maybe not photo frames but like I said I do have different wood left over so let me know if you would like me to do more videos the next time I get around to sawing some wood and I can also include more of the manual labour parts which were missed from this video because it was before I started my channel especially by the time it gets to summer if lockdown rules and things are eased quite a bit and Ranch can come over then he can help me create some more things as I said this project was between both of us but because of the restrictions and things I have done most of the later parts of the work he did help me saw some of the wood at the start I am going to be listing these now on Etsy and Instagram I'll leave the links in the description box below and I would love it if you could like, share and subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment below. Take care until next time guys. Bye!